It's not a day in the NBA 2K community unless something goes drastically wrong. A whole bunch of people were sending me tweets last night. Aiden was streaming. I tuned in to see what he was talking about. And he was furious to state of the game. Very choppy, almost, no, no, not almost. Incredibly unplayable NBA 2K21 Next Gen as it stands right now. He had a lot of things to say. He began this whole hashtag, make 2K fun again and the entire community was rocking it that night. The devs responded, they promised a couple updates and fixes, so there's a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. But before we do, ladies and gentlemen, drop a like. Let's try and hit 30,000 likes. 50% of you guys that's watching this video is not subscribed, and I'm fine, I'm, I'm not sad about that at all, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it. Subscribe to the channel, though, it's not gonna hurt your hands. It's actually free, and it costs you nothing. And the video's gonna show up next time, when it, unless you don't want it to. In that case, like, it's fine. I'm not gonna take offense, guys. You guys don't like me that much. There was reports from NBA 2K on Reddit on Twitter saying that Ronnie said the frames in the city are caused by the billboards around the courts. The fix is being worked on, to which I promptly quote tweeted, how long have I been saying this? I said in a video about last week, this is the year where if 2K does not do something about render distance, the game will continue to be unplayable. People have to play on broadcast camera or experience some of the worst gaming in the history of the gaming industry. Those are not an option. So it says in the tweet here, and I couldn't find the clip of, I don't know, maybe it was on Ronnie's stream where he said it, but they said the fix is being worked on, hopefully. But then everything began to pick up because Aiden was on stream last night and he was furious. He was disappointed with how the game was playing. He was forced to play on broadcast camera because the game was so choppy, it was absolutely unplayable. And who plays on broadcast camera in 2020? But we were left with no option. The city is dead, unless you're streaming and or a large YouTuber because everyone's on the rec where you get way more progress when you're grinding your player there's just infinite small and big problems that we all agree should have been flushed out in testing now i think for the most part people's given 2k cutting them a little slack because of everything that's been going on this year and the fact that they had to work from home while making this game happen on a console jump here we understand those obstacles we're not oblivious to them but let's get into how everything played out aiden was on stream and he had a mission to get this hashtag trending make 2k fun again um i was watching the stream so i was the first person to quote it and respond with my own hashtag. And then you quickly saw, as Aiden was making a push throughout his entire stream, every content creator across the board from the Joe Knows to the Ticinos. And if you scroll, you'll find Grinding, Neon, Chico, Bandit. Every imaginable content creator that plays the game was there tweeting the hashtag because there was a lot that needs to change with current, I mean, with next gen NBA 2K21 to get it to where we want it to be. Grinding put out his post saying what 2K needs to do, and it includes Nerfing contact dunks, buffing shot contests, nerfing amount of whites made, fix the chop on the threes court, buff park heavy, allow more people into the city, turn off the mayor billboards when I'm in a park game, that's coming from a mayor. Now for the mayor billboards, I agree, the solution right now is to just throw on your headphones. Allow more people into the city, the cap right now is 100, it needs to be something around 700 at the minimum, but 1,000 would be ideal. Buff park progress without a shadow of a doubt would help more people play park games, because as of right now, there, you're not getting no progress for playing park games. Also, this word right here, guys, I had to mute it in my last video. For some reason, the video bombs when you say this word. So I don't know why this happens on this website, but it happens. I'm avoiding the word for obvious reasons. Now you guys know. Ronnie actually responded to Grinding's list saying, yo, let's talk about nerfing contacts. You realize people are trying to build offensive juggernaut demis and building zero diff definitive? He meant to say defense ratings and badges, right? We aren't going to make defense easier for them. I've been reserving my judgment here because I made a lockdown. I have a two-way scoring machine, but I don't have all my badges yet. I have half of my defensive badges. As of right now, I'm getting dunked on across the board from play shots who have contact dunks. Now I'm waiting to see. Maybe that changes when I have my badges fully out and I'm at a 95 overall. So I don't know yet, but Ronnie, as it stands right now, it seems likely that even after I get all my defensive badges as a two-way and playing good defense, I'm frequently getting dunked on with people that have the slasher uh, grand badge, all right? For what it's worth, I think it needs a tiny nerf down. It happens very, very frequently, but it is happening on the park where the experience is supposed to be a little bit more casual. So I assume that's why they're continuing to allow that in the game. Davis came out with his own list where he said, load more people into the parks, fix the chop and the delay. Delay is also important. Nerf the contact dunks. And this is coming from a person who has contact dunks. So he's asking for himself to be nerfed because this how I realized it was OP is because Davis kept 
dunking on my head. Add way more park progress. Add back dribble moves. All of them are gone. Interesting point. I don't know if you guys realize when you go into the dribbling animations, man, it is like a desert in there. They took out a lot of animations in Next Gen 2K21 for whatever reason. Don't know why. And up the game speed. I feel like a snail. And in my opinion, the most fun 2Ks were the ones where the game speed was fast. Problem with game speed though is when you up the game speed, you also have to improve the servers because if there's a high delay and a fast game speed, it becomes impossible to keep up with people on defense. So it's like a two-way street. So Ronnie responded here saying what's wrong with dribbling sounds like you want to cheese he followed up saying you realize at the city center there's a guy who teaches you other moves yeah it was in our blog and videos of course you have to be a certain rating in some cases but earn your way to being good instead of wanting to be a demi on day one is there a guy in the city center that teaches you guys dribble moves okay i'm just now learning that for what it's worth it feels like there's like 30 percent of the animations in previous games so this guy must be teaching us 70 percent of the animations in the game okay so that's news to i think a lot of people because even i didn't know that and I read the blog post. I must have missed it. G-Man gave his own two cents. He said, I don't understand how stupid some of you are. If a 2K has good dribbling and movement, cosmetics like the park neighborhood city are just icing to the cake. At the base of every great 2K was good dribbling movement system with good shooting. Well, let's start there, please. And keep in mind, I don't think there's nothing wrong with dribbling because I'm not a dribbler. So Ronnie, you can't say there's nothing wrong with dribbling because you're not a dribbler. If every imaginable dribbler is telling you there's something wrong with dribbling, why would you just ignore them and not listen? I don't understand that. I would know if there's something wrong with shooting. I wouldn't know if there's something wrong with dribbling because to me, I don't know how to do those moves. I just flick my right stick and then go up and try and dunk. Or sit at the hash looking all pretty, I don't dribble at all. Ronnie, there's a whole segment of the community telling you there's something wrong with something that you have no expertise in. How are you just gonna ignore that? That doesn't make sense to me. But someone responded to Ronnie saying, thank you, Ronald, they have a 25 interior, but wonder why they get yammed on. I don't have a 25, I have a max interior defense and it's happening to me. That's why I'm saying I'm gonna wait for my badges and I'm gonna find out if it's still happening to me. Cause contact dunks every once in a while if I'm a lockdown is fine, but it's happening very, very frequently right now. Very often, like multiple times in a game. But Ronnie responded to that guy saying, haha, yep. To which badge plug responded, actually not true. NBA 2K Lab did a test on interior defense and found almost no reason to upgrade it due to having very similar outcomes in tests, but okay. So I actually didn't even know they did that test. But Aiden was still on stream while a lot of this was going on and he was trying to continue to push the message. Aiden said, you know it's real when the GOAT tweets it. Okay, this is fake, uh, this is not real. I actually almost fell for it personally and I feel pretty bad about that, but let's not talk about it. For what it's worth, it did go on trending, number two on trending in the United States. So Aiden was kind of celebrating that victory there because that's how you get something in front of the 2K devs because apparently they don't care otherwise. I mean, how many of these videos explaining to you guys how render distance would solve a lot of the lag, chop, and performance issues in the game. It's been like that for years. 2K waited till it was absolutely unplayable before they finally committed to doing something about it. Because when it was bad and not unplayable, they didn't do nothing about it. So while Ronnie was responding to people on Twitter, people were trying to get some kind of feedback or information about what's gonna be changed and when. BP put out the post saying, how about stage, Ronnie? To which Ronnie replied, stage in is an event now, though I could see an argument argument to make it more frequent, you have Gatorade courts that serve the same purpose that people are gonna take the second to migrate to. Which is not true, Ronnie, and do you actually believe that? The stage was a higher level of competition, and it was like that because there was something on the line, VC. At the rental courts, there's nothing on the line. You pay VC to play on the courts, which it shouldn't be that way, but you don't win VC for completing those games. There's nothing to earn from those. It's like a unranked private my court game. It's not the same thing as a stage. But I think he knew that. I think Ronnie's just saying things sometimes. I think he knew that. Joe Knows dropped his own video commenting on everything that was going on. He said this. All right, so let's address it one last time. By the way, beard going crazy because we've been grinding like crazy. We don't even have time. I clearly said things need to be fixed for the game to be as good as it can be. Frame drops, mama mentality badge doesn't work. Uh, Park rep, teammate grade, all that stuff needs to be fixed. Of course. Of course. If you don't think that stuff needs to be, be fixed, you're an idiot. But the fact that I don't agree with people saying this is the worst 2K of all time means that I want a logo? Y'all do realize. Hey, uh, Joe, don't don't worry about those guys. Those people, we call those dummies. Being a content creator is like this, guys. Anytime I have something positive to say about 2K, wow, agent. You just really trying to get a logo. Anytime you have something negative to say about 2K, 
but you're still playing the game and you buy it every year. So it's like, you're just supposed to have no opinions or deal with criticism. So just ignore them, Joe. Just ignore those people, they're dumb. The reality is, is the hashtag existed and Aiden said in his stream multiple times because he wants the game to be fun for him. And for a lot of people, when the game is chopping to the point where you're getting two, three frames per second, it's not playable, that's not fun. When you're trying to join people through your phone and it sends you to the wrong park six times, that's not fun. That's not fun to be on. These are all things that need to be improved for the game to be more fun. And and for what it's worth, I try and I try and give good context when I make statements anyway. For example, if you go back and you watch the city, uh, when I was exploring the city, I was like, man, all this stuff is mind blowing. The fact that they put this in the next gen game. Okay, if they're able to match this mind blowing level design with mind blowing uh, gameplay, it's gonna be game set match. That's what I said. I always like to be clear about my opinions on some as to never have people misrepresent what I say. But Joe, I'll just let you know right now, in the years of me doing this, people will continue to misrepresent what you say because they don't actually care. Are oh, you gassed it up every year anyway? All right, shut the f up. So uh, uh, this Sor Nvade came out with his own list of stuff to improve in the game. Ronnie responded to his list saying, lower the ban. When you were feeling bad in my DMs and saying you deserve the ban, this song was entirely different, no? And yo, Ronnie, just for future reference, stop. Stop talking publicly about stuff that you talk to someone privately about. That's not that's not a good look, man. It's interesting because the guy responded to Ronnie saying, it's full cap, but I'm not dropping DMs. That's not right. I never said any of that. Oh, he did drop DMs. For sake. Let's, should we look at the DMs? Yeah, he didn't say that. Okay, all right. But I mean, we kind of knew he didn't say that, Ronnie, because you did the same thing to me like six months ago, where you said I said something in the DM, and I didn't. You just misunderstood what I said. Besides the point, I responded to Ronnie to hopefully get some answers. I said, there are problems joining friends to your phone again. Can that be addressed? Ronnie responded, oh, good one. I noticed that too. Let the team know. For those wondering, uh, the solution that sometimes works for me is closing app. It's, it will let you join sometimes after you close app. This works on the PlayStation. I don't know how well it works on the Xbox. I did a follow-up tweet because the quality of life stuff is important to me i said and game chat audio quality is still almost unbearable upgrade there would be welcome too to which ronnie responded game chat audio isn't 2k related remember this hardware launch too so kinks being worked out on some new but amazing technology to which i didn't bother responding because i think he's trying to not understand but ronnie Hmm? Pay attention here. This was a problem in last gen where technology wasn't new. And on top of that, this isn't a problem in most any other console game that I play, only on 2K, which leads me to believe it's a 2K problem. There's a chance it might not be, but the fact that it happens excessively on the game that I mainly play on console leads me to believe it's a problem with something y'all have going on and not PlayStation or not some other sh To which some people responded, Agent, is that really your biggest priority? Shut the f up. God damn. Yeah, that shit is important to me, man. I like talking with other people. That's what makes multiplayer experiences great for me. And when people have garbage mics, I have to mute them even though I think the conversation would have been funny and or made the game more enjoyable. Is that, is that really, AJ? Maybe you should talk about builds. What's wrong with builds, hmm? Yeah, I just create prizes. There's some things about the game, bro, that's an improvement. The build system, in my opinion, clear fucking improvement. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what that was. Clear improvements. <laughs> So we're getting a lot of answers from the, well, from Ronnie specifically, and so people kept pushing. Well, how many more answers can we get from Ronnie 2K on this blessed day? Ronnie put out a reply saying, we will allow more people into the city once we are sure everything is working as it should. You don't do that all at once and we control that so we will increase as we go along. Ronnie, that means we're never gonna increase. Oh man. To which Nadex responded, fix chop and add more park and we will be happy. To which Ronnie said, I agree with those two and that's about it. Those two will be addressed. The park comes from lower teammate grades. That needs to be tweaked by about 10%. And then grind benefits positively from that. Iggymo responded, please allow us to earn the same amount of grind when going to other affiliations if we wear our own affiliation clothing. Which is actually a pretty good implementation of an idea that should already exist. To which Ronnie responded, not a bad idea and we'll discuss with the team, but there is a means to an end when it comes to grind being less playing outside your affiliation. Just to be clear, it was the same in 16 and 17. And for those of you guys who didn't play 2K 16 and 17, let me explain to you. Nobody liked it then neither. In fact, it was so bad in those years that you couldn't even play with people that weren't your affiliation until you reached a certain grind. Ronnie, nobody liked it then. And so the community applied pressure and you guys finally changed it so that you could play with whoever. And so there was no limitations anymore. So reintroducing limitations and arguing that it was like this in the past 
is out of context information. Nobody liked it back then neither. People liked affiliations, they didn't like the restrictions. So don't bring back the restrictions if that's the part of the affiliations that people did not like. Ronnie's not gonna argue that people enjoyed the restrictions, like they added more to the experience, it didn't. It made it so that sometimes you couldn't play with the person that you wanted to play with, even if it would have made the game playing experience more enjoyable. Ronnie was real active though, he put out his own post saying, just so everyone knows, a large majority of creators complaining about the bans and saying they did not do anything uh, publicly have admitted to me behind closed doors. And when logo season comes around and we have to consider who, sh who we should be endorsed by, Am I, do I, God damn it! It's almost as if I've forgotten how to read. And when logo season comes around and we have to consider who should be endorsed by the company, I remember everything. Cool, uh, well I haven't gotten a logo in years, so I give up on those right there. For what it's worth, I do agree with Ronnie here. I was talking to Ronnie, I think like a couple years ago at an event and he was telling me like the type of information they get before they ban a player is overwhelming. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes I doubt that when a very honest, truthful person in the community gets banned and then gets unbanned, which means that 2K did it on like, you know what I'm saying? So they were unsure and then they unbanned because they went too hard with the punishment. So it's like, man. For what it's worth though, I do think he's telling the truth here. I think a lot of times when people cap and say, you ain't do nothing wrong, it's because they're not gonna admit to doing nothing wrong. And I'm pretty sure for legal reasons, 2K prefers to not disclose why someone gets banned unless they absolutely have to. Anytime you itemize something, it makes uh, the opportunity for criticism infinitely higher. It usually works against you when that happens. Oh, we got some clarification here from Johnny who said, Ronnie, there's people with 95 blocks and max interior defense that are getting yammed at, at an alarming rate. Max badges too, might I add. So the stealing is like, okay, there's a lot of steals. You can click square and come away with a lot of steals. And this is before I even got the pickpocket badge on my lock. But as it relates to shot contest and or interior defense, it's not nearly as effective. So it might even be, if you wanna balance it out, reduce the steal rate with the lockdowns and then increase the contest rate on interior and perimeter contests. And so on all the way on the other side of the spectrum, on the My NBA side, we have Kenny dealing with some issues. He said, I literally can't record a video because NBA 2K keeps crashing during simulation. He quickly followed up saying, we just want the game to work. We aren't asking for much. We just want the game to work. Man, you don't ever see Kenny angry those on can you get angry you gotta pay attention a little bit hey what's up twitter let me show y'all what i've been dealing with and i am not exaggerating when i tell you that this game has crashed on me at least 10 times during my phoenix suns rebuild i mean it's a topical subject i'm trying to get it out and i've already made the trade i feel like we're about to go do big things and i hit simulate and once we hit like february 10th the whole game just crashes and i'm telling you it has happened oh oh what is it it's 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 happening right now the game just crashes on Xbox, on PlayStation. It doesn't matter. The game just crashes and it's preventing me from working. At the end of the day, it's preventing me from working and this is the most frustrating thing in the world right now. I can only imagine, Kenny. I can only imagine simulating and crashing to load up the game to simulate and crash again. And to do that in cycles for hours to get your video out. Seems like a simple thing. Uh, a thing that's existed in sports titles for decades now. Seemingly doesn't work in NBA 2K21 next gen. But on some good news positivity, Kenny did follow up a reply to that video right there saying, got word from 2K, the problem will be looked into soon. So there's a couple things of note. I think everybody in the 2K community recognizes that Yes, 2K dropped a current gen version with new parks and uh, some new features, like a decent amount changed about the game, but it wasn't that fun. And then next gen came out and that's a lot to do, especially we know how much went on this year and we know how challenging that must have been for the developers. We understand. And I think across the board, everybody is thankful that they even went that hard. I give the devs some slack in that regards because when else are they going to go through something that, like that, what a drastic change that is. Okay, agent, we understand, we understand, we get it, yes. But at the same time, come on, man, the simulation doesn't work. <laughs> like that's, that's, that simple game testing would have told you that. Like Kenny figured this out and it's a week into the game's launch. What if you just hit up Kenny? Told him to run some tests before the game launched. I genuinely sometimes question whether or not they even have a quality control team. I don't know what those guys, they need, okay, let me give you an example. A game I play, Valorant, Riot Games, right? The developers that work on Valorant are incredible at the game. Oh my God, it makes no sense. They're top tier 0.1% at their own game. A lot of them are. So I wouldn't mind the developers game testing their own game because they're incredible. They can figure out what's wrong. 
And there is an occasional person who's great at the game, like LD2K. He's incredible when it comes to play now, team up, ah, ah, ah. But you should have game testers in there that are incredible at video game. You should find the people that are consistently glitching and breaking the game, and you should hire those guys to run tests months before the game launches. And the fact that I can sit here on videos for like three plus years and just point out an obvious problem, that me having to load everything in the background while I'm playing this park game is the reason why it's lagging, and then nothing is done until it reaches such an unbearable point where the game can't even be played before something is done? That means that in the future, just so I know, if something is done poorly, but it's not done so atrociously that I can bear it, that there's no point in even trying to give feedback because it won't bother being addressed. For example, the my court cameras. There's no my court this year, right? So you would think that that's not gonna be a problem. But when you go to the rent to courts and you run anything that's not 1v1, if you do twos, threes, fours, the camera is like, up against a goddamn wall. And that's a small inconvenience. That wasn't so bad that it made the experience unplayable, but it was inconvenient. I can't even see my point guard when I'm sitting in the corner or in the paint. On a twos game, I can't see my teammates. But it wasn't so bad that 2K wanted to fix it. So yeah, when I sit up here on Twitter, guys, or on these videos, and I talk about some of the small things that need to be changed, it's because it makes the overall gameplay experience better. I think it's on the Western Wildcats for some reason. There's like a, it's like a tiered system where like the courts, you have, there's like a staircase. You have to walk up the staircase to get to certain courts. And sometimes because the game is so clunky, you'll like fall off and you have to walk all the way around to get up the staircase. For quality of life reasons, that's gonna be frustrating to people months from now. But right now, people don't find it frustrating because the game is new. I'm just telling you problems I think are gonna happen. Small problems that once improved, make the gameplay experience better. I think proximity chat would make this city so lit. The idea of NPCs giving you missions and stuff is dope. You can complement that by actually making people feel like they're part of a real neighborhood and city by allowing them to talk to the people around them. Imagine you're skateboarding and doing all these, you bump into a person in proximity chat, you got a new friend. They're trying to implement these features like garage courts where you bump into people and you just run the ones or the twos or any kind of horse or any game mode but without proximity chat so the only time you talk to them is when the game starts up but then even when you do talk to them the audio quality is absolute dog specifically on 2k not exclusively but largely a 2k issue and some people i'm convinced don't even have a single brain cell left up here because they'll immediately see a video like this and go aj well then why do you play the game because it's Fucking fun! Cause I grew up playing it, man, for as long as I can remember. I have millions of childhood memories playing live in 2K. So of course I want them to get better. And then on top of all of that, it's my job! Is that so difficult to understand? I do that with every game that I play though. You just won't see a video when I have something to say about Rainbow Six. I'm a gamer, y'all. I wanna see games be good. This is a tweet from a couple weeks ago. Please, Ubisoft, listen. Assassin's Creed multiplayer is one of the greatest gems in gaming history. Bring those back, I'm begging you. I'm still gonna play this new one, but please. I'm a fucking gamer. I will game for as long as I'm alive. And because I have a platform, I can sometimes say things that developers will see. So I want to make an attempt to make the games I play better. I've been doing that for fucking years, man. And I'll never stop doing that in pursuit of a goddamn logo or because of your sh criticism in the comment section. There's not a lot of, com man, there's some communities just to let you guys know that they don't care this much. That if something is wrong, they'll just give up. They'll just play it and or just stop playing it. Man, you, you should at least be thankful that people like Aiden can hop on stream and dedicate like four or five hours of that stream to just trying to make something positive happen in the game. Because at the end of the day, we all know when 2K works, it is fun. When 2K listens to the community, it is fun. And yeah, we're just trying to have fun, bro, at the end of the day, man. Hey, uh, but this was a lot to happen just in one night. I do have a video I'm gonna be dropping tomorrow on the channel where I go onto the garage courts and steal people's basketballs and hold on to them. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> It's gonna be toxic for sure, uh, but I think it can be really, really funny. If y'all wanna see that, man, you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video, man. Let's run it up, try and get it 30,000. I mean, what's wrong with 30,000? It's a beautiful number. It's a good round, a lot of zeros, and a three in front of it. Some videos on the screen right now. Shout out Aiden, man. Shout out community, because just about everybody uh, was showing love, just trying to make some improvements happen. And we got some answers and some feedback from the developers, so that's great. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.